Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Judy Gabriels. I'm a Kenyan content creator and right now I'm coming live from Meru County, the Meru University of Science and Technology. As I told you before, I'm still a student. I'm a year three, semester two students and very soon I'll be enrolling in year four. I'm so happy because uh, in a, a year time, I'll be graduating and as usual, I welcome you all to my graduation party. All YouTubers, you are welcome. So straight to the point, today I'm doing a special video, actually very different from the videos I've been doing. So I want to discuss with you something about the medical laboratory science or the clinical laboratory science is a very nice field in the medical field you know we are always behind the scene in the hospital like we don't interact with patients a lot yes we interact with patient but not as a uh, medical doctors so that's why i'm saying that we are always behind the scene so what is this medical laboratory science or the clinical laboratory science so medical laboratory science is the use of a clinical laboratory test to detect diagnose and monitor then treat diseases just use the clinical specimens such as the blood samples you can use the urine samples the stool name them we have so many samples that you use at the hospital laboratories clinical laboratories like so many areas i'll uh, tell you the areas where a medical laboratory scientist can work so right now i'm still defining what a medical laboratory science or clinical laboratory science is then for you to qualify to join the medical laboratory field in Kenya, first of all, in high school, you must have a minimum grade of C+. Plus. That is the overall grade, the minimum overall grade, C+. Plus. Then a C+, plus in chemistry, C+, plus in either physics or mathematics, C+, plus in biology, then C+, plus also in english that's a must so we have four core subjects chemistry biology physics or mathematics then english so if you have less than a c plus in either of the subjects i've mentioned then you won't qualify to do a degree program maybe you will do a diploma program in uh, the kmt c kenya medical training colleges but uh, in university you must achieve a target of c plus in either of the subjects then a minimum grade of c plus overally so if you're a high school student who previously graduated and uh, want to join campus to pursue medical laboratory science those are the core subjects you should uh, focus in then uh, you should also have the grade i've mentioned then that one aside now in medical laboratory science or the clinical laboratory science we have core subjects or the core units that uh, we should be measuring on there are six core units that uh, we should be measuring on in uh, medical laboratory science or the clinical laboratory science and the first one is the clinical chemistry this is where you will do the liver function test the kidney function test the urea test all the chemical tests you'll do in the clinical chemistry unit then we have the hematology now you deal with blood you understand blood now if you're afraid of blood or touching blood or pricking someone then hmm, medical laboratory science is not for you then uh, another third core unit that uh, we should be measuring on in medical laboratory science is the transfusion science this is also part of blood where you'll be transfusing blood you'll be donating blood from patients you understand 
now that is the transfusion science the third one then another one is the clinical immunology this is one of the best the best units ever you learn about the all the immunological techniques the immune system of the body you understand <laughs> then another one is the clinical microbiology wow what an amazing unit this is where you will get the parasitology bacteriology virology entomology and personally i love parasitology and bacteriology so much even if it's uh, focusing on a certain unit specializing in a certain unit i'll go for microbiology and uh, focus either on parasitology or bacteriology because I love it so much dealing with parasites studying parasites studying bacteria categorizing them I love it so much then the last one is the molecular diagnostic now this case is where we deal with the genes like for example there are always some cases whereby you'll find that uh, somebody is claiming that this is my kid that's not my kid so for you to determine whether this is the right kid you are claiming of that is yours then molecular diagnostic got you covered so i've mentioned six core units that uh, we always specialize on in uh, medical laboratory science or the clinical laboratory science we have the clinical chemistry we have the hematology we have the transfusion science we have the clinical immunology the clinical microbiology then we have the immunological diagnostics six of them so those are the core subjects that uh, you'll be focusing on in campus or specializing on in campus uh, after you have enrolled to be a medical laboratory student not only six we have so many uh, common units but the core units now are six other others are the common units like in first year since i joined campus i've been uh, doing eight units per semester eight 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 so we have so many units so it's not only six we have so many units but the core units are the six ones i've mentioned now where do medical laboratory scientists work after graduation we have the research institutes we have the hospitals we have the clinical laboratories we have the forensic labs we have the biotechnology companies the pharmaceutical industries public health agencies like there are so many places where a medical laboratory scientist can work we also have the um, government agencies where uh, medical laboratory scientists can also work then you know what guys after like a medical laboratory science course it takes four years for you to complete it then uh, you graduate the first degree you'll be graduating in is a uh, after four years you'll be graduating and then you'll have your degree as a medical laboratory scientist then uh, another thing after graduation we always have uh, licensing exams or the board exams or the certified exams and it's always a must if you don't do that exams actually <laughs> there's nowhere you will work because that, that's the exams that you'll get qualified for you to get your license for you now to become a qualified medical laboratory technologist or clinical laboratory technologist so how do you go about these exams after graduation you will apply for it and application is a uh, 20000 kenya shillings it's uh, always in april or december so it's upon you to choose which month you're going to apply for the board exams in kenya we call it km LTTB Kenya Medical Laboratory Technicians and Technologists Board is one of the toughest and exciting program but hey also challenging you know the you've paid 20000 Kenya shillings and you always have three uh option is it option or what chances you always have three chances if you fail in the first chance 
you'll apply for the second chance if you fail there then you apply now for the very last one then if you fail in the last one count yourself out consider yourself a non-medical laboratory technologist actually that's why i say that it's one of the most interesting and challenging program after graduation because you must have a license so after applying for the board exams in kenya we call it eight board exams kenya medical laboratory technicians and technologists board exams and uh, it always take like a week to do the board exams after paying and registering with the 20,000 kenya shillings you do the six core units i was telling you now those are the special core units that you will tackle in the board exams then you also have the practicals and uh, we also have the oral exams so it's upon you to get the grade the minimum grade requirement in each and every core unit is, is always a 50 percent and imagine getting that 50 percent is not easy it depends with how you study that's why you always been seeing so many graduates medical laboratory graduates working in the hospitals uh, going for law camps because they have not yet qualified for the license exams or someone some students are always panicking they don't want to do that exams because of the fear of failing but uh, we were advised by our chairman of department that immediately after graduation you should always be registering for the board exams because it will find your brain very fresh you understand but if you wait for like two years you could have you will have forgotten everything Imagine like a, a unit, let me talk of medical microbiology, the clinical microbiology, now as a co-unit in uh, the Kenya Medical Laboratory Technicians and Technologists Board, is a one unit, yes, but it is having so many subunits like parasitology. In parasitology, you need to categorize parasites in order the hell means the protozoa the parasites themselves you need to categorize them then you now come to bacteriology bacteriology you also need to categorize all these bacteria then you also need to know more about the culture and sensitivity like which drug will finish the bacteria completely will kill the bacteria completely you must understand the culture and sensitivity in uh, bacteriology now you come to virology now this that, that the case of uh, covid 19 back in the covid pandemic area you focus in everything not only covid 19 but you have so many viruses so many we are still in medical microbiology as a co-unit in board exams but now i'm highlighting the subunits in the medical microbiology then we also have entomology in that area so we have like four units in a unit you understand so don't assume that this this is just one unit i'll have to read them at night and understand everything no you need to start getting prepared as early as now if you are preparing to do the board exams then if you come to hematology hematology is very wide and interesting if you love dealing with blood the better for you then uh, people have been asking do medical laboratory technicians or technologists withdraw blood from patient yes we withdraw blood from the patient that's why i love working at the hospital i love interacting with the patient and it also depends with how you interact with patients you know some patients are always rude but use your senses well then interact with the patient very well then uh, some people always say that you know these medical lab technicians or medical lab scientists they their work is always to re uh, repair the medical equipment no it's a big no we don't do that yes we have a, a unit called bioinstrumentation where we learn about the maintenance and uh, preparation of the equipment but we don't prepare 
or uh, repair the medical equipment we do so many activities at the hospital imagine if you are right now you specialize in bacteriology what will you be doing at the hospital so many activities so so many like let me say microbiology you have to diagnose typhoid like so many diseases very very many diseases that's why they always say that without a medical laboratory scientist, then your doctor will just be gazing. That's very true because doctors don't study parasitology widely. They don't study hematology widely. Like mm, there is a test in hematology. <laughs> doctors don't know how to do it. Indirect and direct Coombs test. They don't know how to do it. When it comes to the abo the blood grouping system now they don't know how to group bloods just to be sincere so it's upon the medical lab scientists to do all this then submit the result to the doctor after interpretation of everything because medical laboratory scientists they will diagnose everything and they know a lot of things at the hospital so Without me, your doctor will just be <laughs> gazy. <laughs> you get it right. Then, uh, guys, um, people have been asking me that, Judy, uh, will we get job after our career or uh, where will we be heading to? To be sincere, there is a great demand for qualified medical laboratory technologies as a result of phenomenal development of medical science very very high demand then is likely to continue because of constant research and advancement in the field so there are a lot of opportunities outside here if you want to be a medical lab scientist good for you if you're a high school student looking for which course to pursue in campus or in any medical field i recommend medical laboratory science i'll be doing more of these videos like uh, a day in the life of a medical laboratory science it's only that uh, i've been so busy of late with the practicals with the proposals studies assignments like you understand campus very well that's why i've not been do doing a lot of videos but i promise you that i will do a lot of videos on this field uh you know our field is not recognized as such by so many people but since the covid pandemic that's when they started recognizing that oh there is a certain field in the medical field called medical laboratory because that's the time they were employing a lot of uh, lab scientists to go to the research institutes to do a lot of research about the covid like they wanted to come up with the best vaccine for COVID-19 and who are the people to work at the research institutes, the medical lab scientists. And we could have been the savior in the whole world. Do you understand? That's why I love medical laboratory science so much. So guys, that's all about the medical laboratory science. If you want to become a medical lab scientist, then I wish you the best. It's one of the best, best fields ever in the medical in the medical field then at the hospital we do a lot of work if you are not as fast as possible you might lose your patient so if a doctor gives you samples to diagnose please try to be as fast as possible to save the life of a patient but if you just slow you know some doctors like some medical lab scientists they are ever slow they like assuming then uh, I don't want to talk negatively about medical lab science and doctors at the hospital because I've been at the hospital. I know what's always happening there. Then I was forgetting something. After um, you are third year in university, you need to go for attachment in any medical field. You can go to the hospital, you can go to the research institutes, you can go to the forensic labs, the pharmaceutical industries to do your attachment. So the choice is always yours. Because some universities always are 
look for chances or grant chances for their students but some universities always give students an opportunity to go and look for attachment areas by themselves so if you get that chance you try to apply for any any medical field to get a nice chance then uh, for you to do the medical exams to sit for the medical to sit for the board exams the kenya medical laboratory technicians and technologist board uh, you must have an index number without an index number they'll say that you are not a university student so each and every university students pursuing medical lab science must always have index numbers it's always a core thing at uh, the km lttb board without indexing number you won't be able to register for the exams you won't be able to get your license you'll have wasted your four years study at the university so it's also upon the university to work hard towards getting to their students their index numbers and uh, students always pay 3700 kenya shillings for them to get the index numbers you understand then um another thing after graduation and uh, yeah after graduation you will be given a chance of uh, two years to do your internship at so guys after your graduation you will be given two years you'll have two years to do your internship in any hospital or institution you want then also medical lab scientists can also work at the universities as lecturers then uh, you can also advance your studies abroad in places like canada australia usa malaysia those are the best countries where you can advance your studies if you want to be a medical laboratory scientist so guys that's all about medical lab science thank you so much for watching this video i really do appreciate thanks for your continued support kindly like the video share it to your friends i really appreciate your support and until next time goodbye for now